Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about healthier choices management, ticket symbol HCMC. You can see that we obviously had a decent day today. We were up 5.88% as of market close. We even went up to that high of 0.002 the resistance that you can see I put in and you know it really is playing out to kind of the, the technical analysis I've been kind of giving so make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on the video on HCMC if you are heavily invested into this so we're going to talk about really the technical analysis first and then we're going to talk about some news and some of my future thoughts on HCMC you can see that today two things really one thing you can see that obviously we had this high and touching that 0 0.002 again showing that this is obvious resistance we can see that we clearly rejected at this resistance if we go to the hour time frame you can see that the momentum came in at the start of the day so you can see at the starting hour and then we jumped all the way to that 0 0.02 and then we had a lot of sellers and so obviously we were down holding the 0 0.0017 which is again very good and now we're in this range of 0 0.0018 to 0 0.0017 is a range I've given out as well now because I think there's a little mini range in terms of the massive range. So um, two things I do want to highlight. Um, first of all, I mean by the massive range is 0 0.002 to 0 0.0014. I do think the price will be consolidating and we are seeing things forming. One obvious thing that I've pointed out is we are seeing obviously here was the higher low and we're on our way to making a higher high. And for that to be made, we need to obviously break the 0 0.002. And so far we are seeing rejection. And kind of a little mini range is this bar that we're in right now, which is a 0 0.0017 to 0 0.0018, as you can see. And with today is literally how the price started. We obviously opened at 0 0.0017 and then we closed at 0 0.0018. So that's very good. The other point I kind of want to highlight again in prior, um, after mentioning obviously touching the 0 0.002 is obviously you can see we are touching the moving average now. This is the 50 MA for anyone who's wondering. And the reason why I highlight this is because we are obviously touching uh, another resistance. Uh, whilst 0 0.0018 is obviously in resistance, I always say that MA kind of acts as a natural resistance and kind of normally you can see sort of plays be made when it's closest towards the moving average. And you can see right now, you know, we are facing this MA, we are facing some sort of resistance and we may be looking at kind of a reversal of the 50 MA if that's obviously um, what we're going to be looking at next in terms of the technical analysis. Like I said, obviously next uh, movement in terms of technical is obviously making that higher high, which is you know, up here. And if we were to reverse um, kind of the 50 MA, if the price was to obviously break this resistance of the 50 MA and, and above it and looking at that reversal of the 50 MA, then we are looking at a higher probability of it making the new higher high. And what I mean by that is obviously if the price were to end um, above the MA, then we are obviously looking at the price kind of go up. And that is something we do obviously want to see. In terms of kind of looking at this right now, again, um, you know, I did say about how really short term technical we've kind of met here with the recent um, obviously price jump, touching that MA, rejecting it, but then supporting on the 0 0.014. And now we are looking at, again, another steady growth. So kind of the, all the short term has been done again. And, you know, again, we are seeing it touching the MA here. And, you know, in terms of long term, a lot of people obviously invested for the lawsuit. Um, I'm gonna get into that uh, further into the video because that I'm still we're still talking about the technical analysis here, but I know a lot of people are trying to get in for the lawsuit. But if you're in here for the technical analysis, these are the kind of movements you don't want to miss. You can see that HTMC obviously has quite clear movements when it goes to um, ranges most of the time. And you, again, a clear example is obviously here when you broke the resistance of 0 0.0014, it obviously rejected at the 0 0.002, but then supported that 0 0.0014. So that's what I mean by clear movements. And for anyone who obviously caught these movements, you know, 42% to 100%. Um, so, you know, these are obviously good percentages to be making on the stock if you're swing trading, especially in kind of how short of a time period it is. And so if you're investing in HTMC, in kind of the technical aspect, in kind of short-term aspect, make sure to be aware to kind of, whilst there are obviously catalysts that make the stock volatile, but be sure to kind of stay attention to the levels of HTMC and kind of the price action because they're generally quite, um, I wouldn't say obvious to read, but they do um, indicate quite a lot of things to be seeing. 
One example is obviously, as you can see, a great momentum coming in today on the 16th of April. And so then we obviously were to see um, more momentum coming in the next day as it did touch the MA. And when it touched the MA and the 0 0.002, I've always said that we are gonna be looking at short-term touching the MA when we see a pullback. Whilst we didn't know where the pullback was, you know, where exactly you're going to stop, but there was obviously levels, whether it was at the 0 0.018 to 0 0.017 range or the 0 0.014. You know, whilst we're not obviously sure on which level um, it was exactly going to drop to, we did know that there were levels that, you know, it was going to drop to. And again, you can see that it's dropped to 0 0.014. And afterwards, you can obviously see the price action again, you know, a lot of buys at 0 0.014. We're seeing candles like this again, and which if you trace back to kind of the previous time before it jumped up, we see a candle here and then building into a candle like this, which then you can see on the 23rd of April, and then we see more buys coming in. But even before, you know, just seeing this candle, you can see a lot of buys coming in. The next day, you obviously see volatility, but you see more buys coming upwards. And then, you know, I did say that we are looking at more buys coming in. And then the very next day on the 23rd of April, when we saw a candle like this, which, you know, in fact, was even bigger than this candle, meaning that there were more buyers coming in than this particular day on 15th of April, as well as you can obviously see the increase in volume. There was more volume in this day than there was on that day. Again, that shows, you know, it kind of signifies by the, the length of the wick. I said, I did say, and for those of you who have watched my video, my last video, I did say that there were buyers stacking. We are going to see a green day the very next day. That's why I think something like this was very possible. And as you can see um, on the start of today, we obviously saw buyers coming in. Whilst there were sellers, you can obviously see here, you know, again, buyers came in and we saw the buyers come all the way up to 0 0.002. So kind of going back to what I was saying, if you are investing in HTMC, make sure you are aware of the price action and of the levels that you should be paying attention to. You know, I pretty much have these levels, um, kind of listed out here. So if you guys want to go by my technical analysis, you know, feel free to do so. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, so make sure you take my opinions with a grain of salt. Make sure you're doing, you're doing diligence, but I do think that if you want kind of a level to judge, these are what I think are good levels that you should be looking at. And, you know, essentially right now they are proving to be well, but we are facing obviously the resistance of the 50 MA. Going into what I think about kind of HCMC and what I think the future projections are. Firstly, and it's kind of been the big talk on the HCMC Reddit, and that's May the 3rd. And I do want to clarify this before we go any further. I am not telling anyone to buy HCMC on May the 3rd. I am not trying to make a pump and dump. I'm only stating what is happening on this Reddit. It seems like there are a lot of people coordinating on the HCMC Reddit on May the 3rd of everyone kind of who are already invested or who are interested to buy at least $100 of HCMC shares and again i want to start clarify this that i am not telling you guys to buy it here and i'm not you know affiliated with any of it i'm only stating the information that is on the reddit and so we may be seeing a lot of volume on may the third and for anyone who's kind of treading into it if you do want to go along with the flow you know feel free to do so it's for your decision make sure i'm not obviously participating make sure you have a plan but I think personally for anyone who's inexperienced or who are too obviously scared and are scared of volatility, then definitely sit out and kind of watch on the sidelines. It, you know, in fact, it may not even happen. And I, for, honestly, for the sake of HTMC, I hope it doesn't happen because that is quite, it really gives off the scent of pump and dump of, of that whole coordination. So, you know, I do think that it's probably best to stay away from it. However, that I am not you know, bashing on anyone against it. You know, you do what you guys want to do, but, it, just make sure you have a plan on that day or if you don't want to make sure you just stay on the sidelines kind of if you do want to go with the flow with the momentum on that day on the volume on that day you know feel free to do so but you know i personally think it's probably best just to probably sit out on the sidelines just to watch this i'm personally not going to be involved in that and you know again this is just me stating what's going to happen on the HTMC right there. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about HTMC. And comment down below what you guys want to see next. Other than that, enjoy your day.